This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Welcome back to another episode of Fish 5 with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. Today we're trying a brand new one, a spicy one, one of the elemental type. We're going to be playing Teamer Elementals with all the sweet new M20 Elementals. Uh, there's just... M20 has already made a huge splash for me in, in Standard. There's so much, like, there's so many powerful hate cards. I see there in the sideboard, Fry, Veil of Summer. I'm not going to lie to you, when I thought Erasured my opponent, they Veil of Summered me, I felt very bad. I felt very silly for playing that card, but... Yeah, so there's just a lot of hate cards coming in uh, from M20 for all sorts of archetypes. And more importantly, Chandra Awakened Inferno is sweet. But yeah, let's go over the deck a little bit here. It mostly borrows the Explore package, you know, uh, Merfolk Branch Walker, Jade Light Ranger, Gain Some Life. But we got Wild Growth Walker in here, which is an elemental. And we do have Living Twister in here, which didn't see its time under the Second Sun until, well, now. Um, and then there's Cavalier of Flame, which I'm not 100% sure how much I, I'm liking. I'm just trying it out. I, I played a little bit with it yesterday. It was fun. It was sweet. It was nice to be able to go out of nowhere, pump the team, and, and give everyone haste. Also relevant, you know, being able to pitch your cards in hand and then drawing a ton more. But the main things that you want to look for in this deck are going to be these three cards here mentioned. Up front is Risen Reef, which is already broken out to be an all-star. Um, and people are already memeing around talking about this with like young Pyromancer and Modern. But uh, I think this card's very sweet. It's, it's definitely, I'm not going to lie to you, slipped under my radar. Uh, I thought the deck, I mean, I thought the card was just, okay, cool. Very sweet and limited uh, and whatnot. But this card really comes down to how playable elementals are. So, I mean, it itself already comes down and gives you value, so I guess that's pretty sweet. It's just pretty much, it's got upside, so if you have more elementals, you can just keep using it. But, you know, like, the, if, if you don't, it comes down, it already does its job. Maybe even eats a removal spell along the way. Of course, Omnath, Locus of the Royal. Omnath has been around, this is his third iteration, I believe. Uh, and all it took was for Omnath to grow some arms, and once Omnath grew some arms... That was when Omnath started flexing on people. This card is super sweet. I love this. I, you know, I hope Elementals becomes playable because I like this card. I like, you know, Swole, Flubber, whatever you want to call them. Uh, when Omnath, Locus of the Royal, enters the battlefield, it deals damage to any target equal to the number of elements you control or uh, equal to the number of Elementals you control. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on target Elemental you control. And if you control eight or more lands, draw a card. So it's great. Early game is removal. Great late game as an engine and removal. And more importantly, a uh, thing that you should remember is if you play against this, or if you're about to play it, remember that it, let's just say I have two elementals and, and you need to deal exactly two damage to a creature or an opponent. Remember that the opponent can respond to the enters the battlefield effect of Omnath, and then that would then remove an elemental, thus reducing the amount. Just saying. And of course... Chandra Awakened Inferno. You know what? This card will resolve. It can't be countered. Each opponent gets an emblem with, at the beginning of your upkeep, this emblem deals plus two, uh, this deals one damage to you. That's the plus two. Minus three, Chandra Awakened Inferno deals three damage to each non-elemental creature. So, Chandra, a friend of the elementals. Friends with elementals. Uh, Chandra Awakened Inferno deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker of a permanent dealt damage this way would die this turn, exile it instead. And that would be the minus X. So this card, if you're ever if you're ever like just passing and like you're in a, a, a stalled board state and or or your opponent has nothing and you just have a Chandra, you just keep upticking, it's usually over. Um I mean th this there's a lot of inevitability. They have to close up the game real fast. So this card has just been a blast to play with. So Let's see, without holding up any longer, let's see how the deck does in the queues. All right, we're starting off the event against uh, Mr. MTG420. Good luck, opponent. Which one don't we want? Green, green, red. Move this to the bottom. We're going to lead with Temple of Mysteries here. Is that a Rugged Highlands? Nice. Uh, it's red deck. Actually, we do want the red source, and we want the red, uh, the red mana, so I don't hate it. 
We're going to power up our kitty here, Super Saiyan cat. This is an adorable cat. I'm very happy with this cat. What a good kitty. All right, nice. See, now, if you ever play against anyone online and they try to rope you and slow roll you, you can just pet your cat. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, that's got to go to the bottom. All right. We're going to take two. They're going to shock us. They're sending all their burn at us, which is not the greatest feeling, but if we draw a wild growth walker, we can immediately turn things around. All right, they pitch double mountain. That's fine. <clears throat> Nice. I'll lead with uh, the stomping ground that they know about. Nice. Our opponents got a pretty good start here. They're, now it explains why they dumped their hand so fast. Alright, there's the steam crim. Odds that they have the removal spell are likely, huh? Interesting. Why don't we go ahead and lead with Omnath? <clears throat> they obviously have some kind of burn spell, right? They're, it's both the same. They whether whether or not they have the burn spell, neither one of these will die uh, because it, it checks upon resolution, or I mean, after the ETB, how many how many um, elementals I have. Good news is now we got them to spend th that mana. Okay. We're fine. <clears throat> we'll take the damage. So that's five damage. Now we'll go ahead and lead with uh, Murf a Jade Light Ranger. And then we'll go ahead and play another Jade Light Ranger. <laughs> I mean, they could send the burn elsewhere if they want. I'm okay with that. Nice. <laughs> oh, love me some emoting. <laughs> Just remember, all right, YouTube, if you open up the emotes, the emote floodgate, that means I will definitely respond with emotes. All right, I guess we could bring in some negates if we need them. I don't know, I don't think we do. We're most likely looking to fight for board more than anything else. Domri doesn't seem great. Domri does nothing when it enters the battlefield. <clears throat> Nissa Chan is great, although I, I do have the Nissa sleeves, but. Although the Nissa Chance leaves are great, but I prefer Kanku. Alright. 2 5, very relevant in body size there. Risen Reef, I don't know. I know that I, like, Risen Reef is, is the truth and, and all that, but like, against Red Deck, where they just play a simple Goblin Chain Whirler. Alright, well, that's it. Have fun. It feels kind of bad, and like, we're not, we're trying to stay alive more than we are trying to outgrind our opponent. So I guess I could see me going down some amount of Risen Reefs, actually. Oh, we just gotta live to Chandra, right? Simple as that. It's simple. Just stay alive, forehead. All right. Oh, I will keep this. Actually, am I keeping this? Pretty good, but like, is it good enough? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll run it, I'll run it. <laughs> now remember, we're not gonna play Wild Growth Walker until we have the ability to do two plays in one turn. I'm gonna lead off with a Branch Walker. Because there's a chance that maybe they don't even let me, like, they, they could respond with, I guess, shock, but they would do that anyways. I just want to make them use burn spells on my Merfolk Branch Walker. Which one is more important to kill? Like, I feel like the, the Runaway Steamkin will eventually do stuff. Alright, they didn't block. I feel like we have to play Risen Reef. Because we can deal with Steamkin eventually, right? 
Yeah. Let's try to be mana efficient. We'll go next turn, play Wild Growth Walker plus uh, a Lava Coil. Assuming we hit the land, of course. I mean, actually, no, we won't go Wild Growth Walker. We'll just probably play Jade Light. In all honesty, we'll probably play Jade Light. <clears throat> you don't look scared. The more, the messier. Okay, no blocks. We can lead off with Wild Growth Walker, make him send burn to the Wild Growth Walker. But the Wild Growth Walker, uh, you know what, it's fine. We're not... We're not beating that for some time being right now. Oh, nice. I could just get rid of the Steamkin, fight my way through all of this. Like, they'll probably just block with the Devil. Devil sends one of the damage over. Yeah, it's fine. I don't really mind. They could block the Risen Reef. I'm okay with that. What they would do, though, is they would go to damage, right? They would send the one damage over to the Risen Reef. That would then make it so that they can kill it off. Or they could kill off the Branch Walker, because they don't care about Risen Reef. But I usually would recommend that you deal with the Risen Reef if you can. Uh, all I cared about was getting Tybalt down to two mana, so two loyalty, that is. So in the event that they decide to use, uh, use the Tybalt, it gets rid of Tybalt. Currently, we've got an elemental, like, loaded board. When I say loaded, I mean only two things, but whatever. Like, we don't gain any life, that's fine. I'm not blocking the Steamkin because there's a chance Steamkin leads to Chain Whirler. Uh, if I block Steamkin or, and there's any other spell they have, it kills off the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, great. And they spent all three mana to deal with the, the Wild Growth Walker, which I'm okay with. So now, if we can get... Oh, that's pretty good. I'll play another one. Enters tapped. Lava Coil. Now there's no chance for them to use Tybalt. But Tybalt sitting there is still good enough. And the opponent's uh, seen enough, and they pick him up. We're up against the Gratis... Or is it Grat is Ninja, or is it Gratis Ninja? Oh, well. I hope I didn't butcher it. That's all I can ask for. This hand is a little light on aggression, but you know what? We'll be okay, right? We're just gonna play some Wild Growth Walkers. Mono Red. Mono Red, again. I'm gonna go ahead and play Stomping Ground Tapped. Just in the event that they might have... You know, like, I want to set it up to where if I draw a Jade Light Ranger, I can play it. Uh, I also want to make sure that... Oh, I'm not playing Wild Girl Walker because I told you. Any any kind of red deck is loaded with cheap burn spells to burn it out. And I want to make sure that they spend a lot of mana to, um, doing... Or a, a lot of resources trying to get rid of it. Good news is that if... They don't do anything soon. We could just start jamming. Like, we have a shock for their phoenix to keep it in the yard. I mean, obviously, if they have two phoenixes, it's going to be a little painful. I'll play, I'll play it out. Give them something to target. All right, that's fine. They're opting. They got a tormenting voice in the yard and an island, and now an opt. So, if they have anything, it's most likely going to be lava coil, which is kind of what we want them to do. Uh, if they play a Drake, that'll require us to ex overextend on resources, which I don't want to do. But we can't really let them have a Drake or a Kevin. All is bad. All of these are bad. Oh, jeez. Like, okay, we could chance it that they block, but that doesn't feel likely, right? No, that doesn't that doesn't seem likely. The Phoenix deck will very likely have something to do both of these turns. Oh, jeez. This feels so bad. Yeah, yeah, we 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 just got to kill Kevin. 
Kefnet, sorry, bud. I love Kefnet, aka Kevin, but Kevin's gonna have to take a lap. Kevin's coming in too strong. Way too strong there, way too hot. Oh boy. Hopefully just no Phoenix. Darn it, they got a Phoenix. Ugh. Gross. I guess Chandra goes up to six, gets hit, goes down to three, goes up to four. Like automatically finale of promise triggers or gets the Phoenix train going. All right, let's do this. I'm going to play as many of my uh, explore creatures as I can right now. So they want to respond to the Jade Lights, enter the battlefield on the stack. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much play the Rootbound Crag. Next turn, we're going to tap five lands, leave up one of the forest types. Then this way we can untap the other forest type, attack, or not even attack. We'll have to play Omnath. Omnath can pick something off. Oh, uh, let's see what goes on now. I mean, they got to they gotta figure out how they're going to beat a Wild Growth Walker after a certain point. So it has to be Bacon Bolt. And Bacon Bolt only sees one card in the yard right now. We're at 26. <clears throat> All right, so here comes Kevin. Okay, I'm going to attack with the team, get him to block. As soon as I play Nissa, jigs up, they know what the, they know what to do from there. Like they at least know right now they have to play around Kefnet. I'm not attacking with everything, just the two four-powered creatures. So just in the event that they kill one of my my friendly neighborhood, uh, Omnaths, or something like that. No, no, no. I don't believe they play Spell Pierce main deck, but if they do, we're about to get dunked. All right, cool. All right. So Wild Growth Walker within shock range. We have to get Kevin out of here. Try to get Kevin out of here, at least. We have three lands, right? So even though Wild Growth Walker goes, we do have a land. And that does make it so that it automatically deals three. I guess we could have swung with the Merfolk Branch Walker, too, if we had that line. Because then they might have had more incentive to block there. And we would have three more damage in. Lightning Strike plus Phoenix attacking means that we get to swing in. Unless, of course, they remove something. That's problematic, but I don't know how much more we can do about that. Finale of Promise here also gets them uh, one of those burn spells back. Crackling Drake, okay. Interesting. They go to one after all of this, right? They block. What does that do? I mean, so we send this in, they go to one. They have three blockers after that. That doesn't feel great. So I feel like they win that race. At least this way, we get to kind of... Wait, hold on. Do we have lethal? Do we just have lethal and miss it? Did I count that wrong? Oh no, they would have blocked differently. They would have blocked differently. That's right. They would have sent it to one of the fours had I swung with Omnath. They send it to one of the fours, they go to one. Right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
I just need the... I need. We can draw a lightning strike to close out the game. They have a bunch of big drakes, so we do have to be mindful of that. Sure, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just attack with one of these lands. So they have to play Kevin to generate another body. But we can just die if we aren't careful here. They have a removal spell plus Kevin. Then that means they can block and then we're going to die. Lava Coil, that's pretty good. Okay. And yeah, that makes us, uh... That makes it lethal. I guess we'll make them, we'll see, make them find the line here. It's very straightforward what the line is, but... Send both in, they block. If they have a way to reoccur the Phoenix... We're dead. Or if they fire off a single, like, what, spell? What are the odds that they have a, a single spell? Ah, oh, darn. I guess they had it. We'll go to the next one. Maybe they had a full grip of lands. Who knows? Okay. So, now that that's done with, let's try this again. Shock doesn't feel great in this matchup. Chandra's pretty decent. Risen Reef already gets its value, so if they spend any resources to get rid of it, that's already... Solid for us. Domri. Domri gives us the ability to f fight. Do we need to fight? No, not really. I do like Domri for the ramp. That is the nice thing about Domri. Hmm. I can take out J... No, I, I don't want to take out J-Light. Living Twister is pretty sweet. I guess Cavalier is a bit much right now. Go down an Omnath. Maybe keep a Cavalier in. Go down a Risen Reef. Because I, I guess the reason why I want to go down a Risen Reef is... It is still just a 1-1 one, one at the end of the day. I mean, we have nothing to play on the early turns, so I may as well play the Steam Vents tapped. Although, Temple Epiphany will always be tapped. Eh, it's fine. I want to play this, uh, this Rootbound Crag. Play the Branch Walker. Let Temple Epiphany... Ooh. Sure, I'll keep that. I can go Temple Epiphany this upcoming turn. First, to push something to the bottom. Like, do I want to rig it to where I draw the land? I think I do. Alright, let's see if we can draw a land. Nice. Drew a land. This fry is going to be pretty big. As it can hit anything we want it to. Fry's gonna be like, it's gotta be an all-star, right? It's gotta be an all-star. Although the opponent does, the nice thing about Augur here is Flame Sweep kind of just, well, sweeps our board. Is it worth playing Omnath right now? Just force them to burn it next turn though. I'll deal one damage to Augur. And then send in Branch Walker. They'd like to trade, that's fine. We got the 1-3 out of the way. So now, next turn, they, they don't see double green yet, right? So maybe they think we don't have double green. Then we try to get them to tap out or something, and we can play Nyssa. And if they play like a Drake or something, we can untap the any of our, our, our forests that are dual lands, which will be the Stomping Grounds only. Okay. Starting to get to a point where, though, if they don't kill this Lomnath right now, it's going to grow out of Lightning Strike range. Okay. Oh, good kitty. Alright, so there's Phoenix. Unfortunately, Fry doesn't hit Phoenix. Fry hits Kefnet, Drakes, and their Planeswalkers. Okay, pass back to the opponent. 
We don't. If we're gonna lightning strike the arc light phoenix, we're not doing it before combat. No point. Because there's a strong chance that they just decide to go. Ah, oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna go and just cast like 130 spells and uh, get it all back. Can't have that. It's finale of promise. Let's see if we can get them to. Uh, Really overexert themselves. Fine. I won't fight this. I am not going to fight over this. Uh, like, as in, not currently. But now that I've seen that they've gone to attack, they haven't cast anything else, we're going to definitely go ahead and just let that happen. Forest again. And that should be more than enough, because then we just get a 3-3. Three, three. That's 11 damage, so. With how many lava coils are going to go flying around? Part of me wonders if we should bring in some amount of negates. Mm. Do you have a clean way to get rid of all of their... No. I want some amount of lightning strikes. Still. So that leaves what? Removing... Cavalier allows us to bin a ton of cards, though, and, and, like, potentially fix our draws. And if it ever dies. But if it gets... What can I get rid of? This is the tough part. Figuring out what I don't want. I mean, how many negates do we need? Probably not that many. So I'll just keep one in. We are on the draw, but they have a ton of cantrips. I guess we don't really care about countering much. Maybe, like, a singleton spell, like a planeswalker or something like that. One time. I'll start with Temple, since we're looking to play uh, Living Twister. Shard of course from the opponent. Did they throw away a Phoenix? That'll be concerning if they do. We might want to look into Graveyard Hate. I feel like we have, the way this is built, it's going to have a few problems with like Dread Horde and stuff like that. All right, rugged, I mean, rootbound crag, which means we can play living twister. Kind of need to chill on the, the lands for a minute here, though. We are drawing quite a few. Augur, oddly, is just a very rough card to get around, but luckily they whiffed, so they didn't go up more cards. They're representing shock or something, or maybe opt, probably opt. All right, we're going to pass. No need to attack this turn. They shock off my branch walker. They shock it off the board. That's cool. But we're about to play the double twister. The living twister. And we've got a few lands to help us with, our, with this issue. Also, a fun thing you can do with living twister is save the lands that you've got from Nyssa. In the event they try to remove it. I want to actually hold up mana. I'm going to graveyard that. I don't want that. I want to get this card out of the way. Let's throw away Temple of Mystery. Cool. Cool. Now we have the, the way cleared for us so we can start attacking. Which is why I decided to go that route. And the nice thing is we can actually answer Phoenix for every land we have in hand. Lava Coil, sure. We have to assume they're just loaded up on those. Nice. The nice thing about this is, as I said, we can save our forests or our land here by using the Living Twister ability. It's looking pretty good for us so far. 
get rid of the Crackling Drake. And now we attack for eight. And we can go ahead and leave play Living Twister again. Another X5 that makes it more difficult for them to kill every time. Now, I could have used Fry on the Drake and then saved Lava Coil for Phoenix, but I feel like Fry is going to be better served as something to get rid of Kefnet or something like that. Opponent, your turn. Nice, so we bounced it back. And remember, it only returns a tap land I control, so we have to float the mana when it comes to... And then now we send the land upstairs to deal some more damage to the opponent, and GG's. Good luck, guard! That Living Twister doing some work. Ooh, yeah, sure. This seems decent. I know what we're putting to the bottom. Cavalier Flame. I do like this card in this deck. You know, I'm coming around to the Cavaliers. And I don't mean the Cleveland ones. I mean these ones from M20. Also, I'm a huge fan of the London Mulligan right now. And the new update where the the deck actually looks like bigger. Looks like the decks are now double sleeved digitally, of course. Oh, wrong one. There we go. These sleeves are pretty sweet. Oh, what are we playing against? Let's find out. Uh, let's see if we can find some lands. Nice. So next turn, we can go with Risen Reef. Okay, it's not a land, but whatever. Ideally, we would draw a land. I mean, I hope we can go like Branch Walker plus Wild Growth Walker, which seems like the weird order, but that seems like the line because we can find a land with uh, Branch Walker, play it, then play Wild Growth Walker, maybe hit something else. Because right now, we're not seeing any red from the opponent. Ugh, brutal. Alright, we need a land here. We need a land. Alright, we might be dead. All right, now we send in the damage. They're probably going to root snare us. Blink of an eye. I could fizzle their draw. But I feel like that's just ridiculous. They must have it, right? They, they must be about, like, on their way to killing us. I don't think they would have done that if they didn't. There's a lot of value, which is great. Eh. What do we have to lose, right? We're we're already pretty far behind. May as well just get a little bit more, a little bit more bang for our buck before we die. All right, Nissa, there we go. That's pretty brutal. So they untap all their mana. They have two, four, six. Nice thing is they did play that. They do make a three three, which is pretty huge. Pretty huge for us. Two. Ah, that's right. They could also do this. Next fate. That's pretty good. Well, next is so fun. I love this deck. Let's see what happens. What will they do next? Because we know that we may not do anything ever again. Womp, 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 womp. Nice. Make another land. Sure. You got it. 
Game plan is to hopefully, uh... Odd. Okay. Very interesting. Firing those off like it's nobody's business. I like it. Yep. 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 This is sick. All right, what happens next? Find out next week on Nexus Ball Z. All right. Ugh, time to do my stretches. Alright. If they have one more, I'll probably just concede. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. Alright. Uh, that was pretty cool. I think. <laughs> Alright. Um. What don't we want? I guess we don't really need shock. I guess, like, Chandra makes it so every time they take a turn, they take more damage. That's pretty funny, actually. All right, let's call it a, let's call that some sideboarding. Yeah, Chandra's emblem would be pretty sweet, because then Chandra's emblem would pretty much, every time they take a turn, take one. And if we get more than one emblem, every time, take some more. Ooh, we're going to do this in the other order here, where I'm going to go and lead with Risen Reef before playing, uh, I guess, you know, I should play Wild Growth Walker. We have two Risen Reefs. We'll be fine. It's not like we're going to be shy on value. Got to get that damage train going early, you know? Maybe they'll fog. Now, we've seen them use their blink of an eyes, like, and they've got two of them. Take the action. Get that land on board. So, Rootbound Crag is now on board. Play the right land here. Let's see what happens now. What do we draw? Omnath, that's pretty sweet. Very nice. Unfortunate that we didn't leave up any blue mana, but that's the way it goes. Oh, we didn't even have blue mana, actually. That's why. Oh, library that, please. Probably get them the... They probably, what, fire off their... Whatchamacallit right now? Yeah, their wilderness. Untap. Leave up that fog mana. Pretty nice. Let me play. Frilled Mystic could counter this, but Frilled Mystic was going to counter this anyways. Alright, let's see what we find. Nope. I mean, it's decent. Take the action? Sure. Uh, let's... Ooh, that's right. Let's move that card to the bottom. There is Omnath's little sponge arm reaching in and punching our opponent. Okay, so that's three, five, nine. They fog, they fog. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna counter that. Because I can kill them next turn. Okay. Yeah, we just never tap out. Sure, it's fine. Lil Uzi is a, a solid, solid thing to use here. Allows them to make another token to get in front of us. Let's see what happens if I find some magical crads right now. Take the action. Uh, let's target an elemental we control. Let's target the Risen Reef. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Send in the squad. They want to trade with the Risen Reefs? They can. It's okay with me. Yep. Yep. Let's 
So we have Chandra, so we know Chandra's going to resolve. So let me think about this here. If they play the Wilderness Reclamation, they float a mana. That's 5, 10. They can't... 5, 10, 11. It's 11 mana. As opposed to me countering it, they play 2 mana. They take every turn after this. Can't really do anything. So that's one, that's five. If they play two mana, that's two. I mean, that's what they're looking for, right? To take two turns in one? That's fine. Okay. And now we'll counter this, and then kill him. Okay. Pretty good. Now we need to do that again. Lightning Strike seems pretty sweet here. That was sweet. Okay, cool. That's all you can really ask for. Pretty much just uh, take a game against Nexus. One thing I love about this deck is that we can kill him. Fairly, possibly just kill him. Nothing like good old fair magic, and I am down with that. I'm going to lead with Wild Growth Walker. Growth Spiral. Yep. Could lose here, because they just go into Reclamation. Then next turn, just thoroughly curve out. Yep. Light Clockwork. Alright. I don't think Branch Walker is enough to actually make them uh, an issue. Uh, make it an, an issue for our opponent. A little unfortunate that we lost our Risen Reef there. Go Risen Reef next turn. Let's just be mana efficient now. That's fine. We need to get... If we can find our Chandra before they can take all their turns, that'll be pretty nice. Because they can't do anything about the emblem. They have to kill us before the emblem gets them. So if we can get them low enough for that to matter, that'd be pretty good. But it doesn't seem likely. They just kept a land on top? Unlikely. They must have Nexus. Yeah. Yep, there's Nexus. And now the question is whether or not we ever get a turn again. Sure. All the blink of eyes, huh? Is that like like a playset? I think that might be just a playset from them. Hmm. If Nissa gets countered, that's a feel bad. That's really good to see. If we just make it to that turn, that's all that matters. This way we can kind of like shut off one of their engines at least, or try to. Alright, here we go. Yep, so it's this turn. We have to just pretty much... Oh, top? Okay. Unlikely that they kept a bad card on top, so. Yep. Okay. Opponent has decided to. Oh, there's Tamiyo. Comforting. They're looking for Nexus of Fate, I assume. Yep. Unless they've already drawn it. Yep. Okay, well, good luck. How did you? How do you do, Tom? Please don't be on Nexus. I'll keep. Not the worst. We have some solid mana, and we can cast Cavalier on five if need be. Hmm. Ooh, I'll play a Temple. 
Temple's pretty solid. Oh, I just realized I shouldn't have played Temple. Now I can't play Jade Light. We're going to pretend we didn't see that YouTube. It's fine. You saw nothing. Immediately drawn to the... Oh, I could play a Temple. Everything's going to be great. Uh, we'll lead with the forest. Fortunately, we don't have enough elementals to really get rid of this Ajani's Pride Mate or the second one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance that they don't have any way to gain life here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just play my Omnath and pass to them. We need to draw... The only thing with Teamer here is that we don't have a ton of ways to, like, hard remove a creature. So things like a Johnny's Pride Mate actually are kind of a, a pain. Uh, I want to draw three cards. Three lands, that is. I'm going to send in the, the damage here. In hopes of them double blocking one. Alright, so they take all the Omnath hit. Makes sense. I mean, they don't actually need to. I just wanted to see if they would. Do they have life gain? That's my concern. If they don't... And we draw Chandra right now. That'd be amazing. Let me get that Chandra. Huh? They might have Moment of Triumph. Yep, they do. Yeah, seems decent. So I desperately need Chandra right now. Wow. Hmm. I don't think it works anymore, right? I mean, I guess I could try. Play Temple. Nope, that's not what I wanted. See if they block. Nope. Yep. Alright, that's that's game over. We can't really beat that. Huh. Yep. GG. Well, so we know they play Revival and all this other stuff too. So that's good to see. Uh, Fry is going to be very important here. They have something for black, right? It must be that spell. I want every form of removal I can get. Living Twister solid. Domri can help us fight. Cavalier is a nice body to block with. I feel like maybe I should have gone up to another Chandra. Hmm. I think one shot can leave. We still want the big Cavalier. I was hoping to just draw into a Chandra. If we had, that would have been pretty solid. I think that would have turned us around entirely. I'll keep this. I really can't chance it that a Johnny's Pride Mate goes running wild on me. Yep. That's fine. Library that up. Now when they play a Johnny's Pride Mate, they're going to try to, you know, they're going to swing in. Yep. They're going to get go up to a three power thingamabobber, which is fine. We're going to lightning strike it. We're going to do it while they're tapped out so they don't get to do moment of craving or moment of a uh, triumph on us. Fry hits a lot of things against this opponent, so that's the nice thing. They probably have a Sorin, too, but now that I think about it. Johnny's Pride Mate? Yep. Oh, no. <sighs> Moment of Triumph is so good. I have to shock now to do, deal with this. That feels so bad. That feels so bad. Oh, I, I forgot about that. That was my misplay. That was my misplay.
We need to get rid of Midnight Reaper. Hmm. They draw two cards and get to keep living, uh, get to keep their uh, little threat here. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want that. Actually, with the ability to bounce back a land, I should have totally just played this other land. It hurts us in no way. Sure. Little birdie will probably still hit us. Oh, okay. Moment of triumph. Dunks on us again. They wouldn't attack if they didn't have it. They wouldn't attack if they didn't have it. See, now we'll see. We'll, we'll t like draw it out of them. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and just get in there with some damage. I have to keep their health relatively low. Until we can find a Chandra. We desperately need a Chandra right now. They're going to draw a lot of cards here. Yep, and they flip their landing. Oh, this is a problem. So they lose two life from that, but the bird just keeps gaining life, which is a little, little bit of a nuisance, but... Land, please. I mean... Chandra? Chandra's eluded me this whole match so far. Could definitely go for some Chandra. Mm. Let's pump Omnath up. No, I don't want that. Let's get them to... I'm sending in the Branch Walker and Omnath. Okay, so they're down to 11. Anytime they draw a card, they lose a life. And it only applies to their token creatures. That's the nice thing. They're non-token creatures. Huh. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Let me think here. I mean, we just ping down the token. I mean, the flyers, right? Yeah, they draw another card. A little painful, but whatever. Let's return this to my hand. If we draw a Chandra, that's pretty that that pulls us right out of it, but we didn't, so we have to probably blow up. Okay, send in our little branch walker. See if they double block this turn. Okay. So that's three and four toughness, so. I can eliminate all of these, right? That's three and four, right? I'm making sure that's correct. Discard a land. All right, so they draw a card here. Hopefully they don't draw removal. 
Don't draw removal. Please don't draw removal. Please don't draw removal. Their hand lit up. It's removal. Hmm. That's so rough. <sighs> that's so, that's so rough. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. I want, I want the Midnight Reaper to trade. I need that card gone. Uh, we might be able to just out-aggro them. If they keep tapping out, I think we can do that. Because now we can go ahead and bounce anything that taps back to us. Which means then we can send it upstairs. Interesting. Choosing to not leave back blockers. They gain two, so they're back up to seven. Send everybody in. And now we can start protecting ourselves with this living twister. Sure. Sure. Interesting. They are choosing to ignore that entirely. That's fine. Yeah, the Dauntless Bodyguard has to go anyways. Okay with that. Down to one. All right, cool. So Living Twister got there. All right, that was close. Closer than I'd like it to be. Oh boy, did Vivian do some work there. I mean, not Vivian. Nissa did work and Living Twister went and did overtime in that matchup. That was all Living Twister all day long. Ridiculous. Love it. I think that, oh my gosh, that was so clutch. I guess I could have just kept sending lands back, but I needed to make sure that I got them to block. Like, I could set there and just keep pl flinging lands. I don't think that plan works, actually. Not the way we want it to. Uh, I'm going to just curve out, with, or try to curve out at least. Go Epiphany. All right, there's Legion's Landing, turn one. Let's see if we find removal. Uh, I'm going to keep that because we just haven't found her all game, and I want to use Chandra. Chandra's so good in this matchup. She's one of the few board sweepers we have. Maybe we go Flame Sweep, but that'll be for next time. So we play Wild Growth Walker. And remember, we can just go Risen Reef into Omnath. Omnath will then try to blow something up, and I can live with that. Even if they use their uh, tr like Moment of Triumph. Okay, what do they play on three? Midnight Reaper? Sure, that's fine. Risen Reef. Okay. Leave our Wild Growth Walker back. Want to go into Omnath? Omnath picking off Midnight Reaper would be pretty sweet. Barring any weird occurrences that happen with our opponent. Please don't. Oh. Like that. Might change some things. Right, so they, they grow their Midnight Reaper, they grow their little friendly neighborhood token. They just still play it, try to ramp.
Reveal it. Put this into play. Send in the damage to a Johnny. See if they want to block or not, or if a Johnny's just gonna take that. Johnny's gonna take that. That's great. So this upcoming turn, we'll be able to go and play Chandra. Chandra will then sweep off our entire opponent's board. It'll be a one-sided wrath as of right now. Sure, that's pretty solid. Can they gain more life this turn? Perfect. All of this is perfect. Ooh, that's a problem. That's one life. It's three. If they grow their angel, that makes it a little bit of a problem. I guess all I need to make sure is if if they grow their angel. You are of more Interesting. Okay. I'm fine with this. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that on. Omnath, Prison Reef. No matter what, they all trade anyways. Yeah, it's all the same. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. This makes them more room to fight in. Johnny needs to die. Even if they make another angel with resplendent angel, we can kill it off. With lava coil. Like they, the resplendent angel itself. But Johnny, however, needs to not be here. Because Johnny is a problem. And then we'll just try to outvalue them by playing bigger and better creatures. The following turns. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, sweet. So Chandra dies this turn. But Chandra's already done her job. Chandra swept them of their board. Uh, let's go ahead and put there. Let's put this here. No, I want all these cards. They have a chance now to go and block like Risen Reef or Omnath. Like they double block Omnath, that's okay with me. They draw two cards from it. But at least I now know these two cards are gone. We're still all right because we're going to come out slightly ahead of, of this, even though we don't have Omnath anymore. Midnight Reaper Tribal. You got it. Dauntless Bodyguard. You got it. Creatures control get plus one plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. This will be fun. Let's see what happens. We play this uh, Wild Growth Walker. We hopefully hit... I mean, I'd like to draw some action off of it. Because Risen... Oh, God, this card is so good. <laughs> Risen Reef, I love you. I love you. You're so good, Risen Reef. Now we can go and double up on the counters. We draw a land that's amazing. All right, so it seems like Dauntless Bodyguard is on Midnight Reaper. I'm just going to send in these two. I know I could have de definitely given my whole board haste, forced him into a blocking situation. Probably could have done that. But I wanted to grow my wild growth walker a little bit more. Sure. It's fine. 
So I assume they block Wild Growth Walker, sacrifice. Yep, they draw a card. Midnight Reaper survives this block. Which is good for them. Next turn, though, we do have Lava Coil plus Shock. Hoping that our opponent doesn't have any board wipes, though. I should be careful. I could see them playing Settle. Like, the spicy thing to do out of these aggro decks is to randomly have a few Settles to try to, try to see if you can catch people off guard. And I say the nay. Oh, it looks like they're looking to bring something back. Yep. Seems reasonable. Uh, this is the same as them drawing a bajillion cards. So let's see what happens here. Did they do that because they have something like Cry the Carnarium? Nope. Just some good old clean. I had it the whole time. Uh, I had a bunch of lands. I'm gonna triumph, pushes it up to four toughness. Okay. So it still kills it off. And now we're gonna pump our whole team. And let's swing in. GG's. Good luck, Mario. I'll keep. We have Domri. We win this one, we get to play another. The deck will either go to first to two losses or first to five wins. Whichever one happens first. Alright, please. Not like this. Give me a land. Give me a land. Please still give me a land. Oh, come on. Yeah, I gotta throw that away. Ooh, gross. And we are now behind. Severely behind, actually. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. We didn't draw anything anyways. Pass to them. Ah, I see you two are stuck on two lands. There you go. You broke the curse. Maybe I'll draw a land. It'd be pretty fun. Oh, there it is. Nice. Finally. I'm going to play Living Twister. I feel like the fact that it has, you know, a ton of toughness means that Domri can't make it fight something random. Like, it's going to require two removal spells from him. Or they go and play Spellbreaker, give it a 1-1 one -one counter. Interesting. Oh, they might have... No, they... They not have Domri's... Rampage or whatever that is. Oh. Well, I know I can't discard any lands. I'm gonna play it like this. Domri enters the, board, uh, the battlefield first. See if we can get them to block. If not, we'll have to do the fighting option. Alright, let's hope this works out. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Okay, it works. Woo! If this were new Vivian, it would just deal the damage and that would have been nice, but no, that's just the way it went for us that game. Oh. Darn it. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? We so what do we do now? Really wanted that, to be honest. Um yeah, I'll take that. That seems like a good card to have. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll keep the Jade Light Ranger on top. So we're going to try to go and play Chandra. They have five mana now, though. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> uh, yep, there's Shock. Is this just more damage to my face? Because I can live with that. Currently, I can. They might have lightning strike here, but whatever. That's cool with me. That's a very sweet animation, though. I love that animation. Yep, lightning strike. Makes sense. So now we're going to try to play Nyssa. What do they have if not just a bunch of creatures? Oh, okay, there you go. That would explain what they have. And we're about to die. Like, I don't think we can actually beat that. Oh. Leave up the breeding pool. Or leave up the stomping ground. Either one. It doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. That is not what we wanted at all. Yeah, I mean, they might just, all they might have to do is just play a bunch of big creatures and punch through us and then we die. Yep, seems good. Shock there. Another monster store. You got it. So we already can see that they play nothing but. Uh, big dinos. So, huh, this matchup's gonna be hard for us. We don't have many efficient ways to deal with all that. I'll bring in the lava coils because we still have to, but presents us with a situation. They're gonna have mana dorks that are just untargetable. Okay, let's try it this way. I don't know how good the shocks are, but I'm leaving them in because they have mana dorks. Uh, unfortunate there. They were able to function on a way like lower curve, though. Spellbreaker and Monster Sword, they're all just about haste action and just getting around sorcery speed removal and answers. So, Unfortunately, though, we still have to bring in the Lava Coils. They probably have Phoenix. They have things like that, too. Maybe we just uh, start playing um, the, the Star of Extinction. There we go. That's like Planar Cleansing. Gets rid of everything, including our stuff, but whatever. Yeah, I'll keep it. There's enough uh, interaction for us on the early turns. We go into Risen Reef, which I don't hate either. We can find Omnath. That'd be great at some point. Explore Package, Omnath, all of those are solid. I'm actually going to play the... Leave up the Lightning Strike here in case they play something I can shock or Lightning Strike. Yep. Off the board you go. Can't let that stay. Yep, take the action. So next turn we can actually go and play Nyssa immediately. That feels pretty good, I won't lie to you. I mean, even Cold, Cold Light Oracle or whatever is... Not Cold Light Oracle, the Coiling Oracle is still solid. So I don't even hate this. All right, let's go ahead and get in there for one. They've got the dinos. They've got everything they need to do to be extra, you know, menacing, if you would. Probably have the ceratops, too. Ripjaw raptor. Now, that's one that's going to be tough to beat.
about to. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. Okay. There we go. Pass back to the opponent. Even if they play Charging Monster Soar, we can't beat it anyways. with Because it would kill Chandra anyways. That's the only reason why I wouldn't attack with Risen Reef. Maybe to see if I could chump block something, but that doesn't seem likely. Uh, we get to go Domri next turn. That's pretty solid. Yep, Charging Monster Soar. There you go. Where are you going with that? You're going right at Chandra. Makes sense. Um, go with that. Rise, my elemental friend. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than Lord. Actually, I feel like we're losing out on too much damage by doing this. Yeah, let's just go to damage. Let's go to attacks. Put him down to one. Play Jade Light. Alright, that's lethal on top. They have to have a way to gain life right now. Nice! Okay, so it's tied to one and one right now. One and one. Hmm, what is something else we could bring in again? We want probably beefy bodies, right? Beefy bodies might be good. Even ones like Vine Mare might even help out. As opposed to little, like, dinky ones that... They probably just, like, walk right through, to be completely honest. Risen Reef is acceptable. Maybe we need Vivian, too. Vivian does supply us with some more card advantage that we could desperately use. Let's go ahead and go down a Wild Growth Walker. I think all we need... I mean, yeah, Wild Growth Walker does work, I guess. I could have kept that in in the event that... they Like, it goes wild. We get a Jade Light or something with it on turn 5. It's hard for them to kind of beat that. This doesn't interact at all. Mulligan. Sure, I'll keep this. Just move Vivian then. Our singleton Vivian that we'll probably never see again, unfortunately. There's all our mana. So, we'll go Rugged Highlands. They have nothing. So that means they have something on three. What is it that they have on three that I'm worried about? We're at 21, so we take a shock next turn that only deals us one, so it's nice. And then we play Risen Reef. Yep, there's Spellbreaker. Let's play this. Risen Reef first. We might take some damage, though. That's my concern right now. Got a lot of power here. Lightning Strike, sure. Elemental Horse. I was hoping we'd hit something off. Like, a land off that would have been nice. To ramp. Okay, no more lands, please. No more lands, please. What do they have in hand? This is a little scary. They have five cards. They haven't played anything. Maybe they just spend more burn? Oh, this is nice. So they go haste. They deal a seven. No blocks. I have to go down to six or potentially less. Ah. Yep, take the action. Enters tapped. So we ramped a little bit. What we'd like to discard? A blue source? Like one land? So that's four damage. That gets through no matter what. Charging Monstrosaur, huh? Again. Ah, uh, turns like just big monsters are good enough to get through. So, 
I guess there's more outs, right? There's more outs if we block here. I mean, there aren't. It's not great, but I guess it's something. Joy. Hmm. No way around it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's find out if they have any. Uh. not what we want. We need Jade Light. They could just burn us. We need we needed Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, GG's. Sure. Maybe I should have played Vine Mare a little bit earlier. Well, we went 3-2 and two with the deck. I don't hate it. I think it's a lot of fun still. Omnath Locus of the Royal is still pretty sweet. Risen Reef is absurdly awesome. Cavalier of Flame has been very medium uh, at best. And, you know, maybe we want a few more elementals. Like, let's say we start just go full on elemental aggro. I think I go. I went a little too mid range with this build when I could have probably just full blown gone out with the aggro, like with the new two drop, the two two haste elemental, the elemental like lord, and then of course the four. There's a four mana elemental that uh, drops two one ones and gives all elementals haste this turn. Maybe we just try full on aggro. As this felt like it points, it can stall out. You know, there's not enough pressure. You're perfectly too slow and not fast enough. But the deck has a big problem with creatures like from Grawl. Anything that's massive that doesn't die to a lightning strike and shock instantly becomes a problem because Omnath can't pick those off unless you've got a critical mass of elementals, which I think at that point you might have already won. But Living Twister was fun. Uh, Living Twister with Nyssa, you know, bounce the land in case they try to like remove the land because it can tap itself, return itself. Uh, or, you know, you can use that land after you attack, send it back and then ping him in the face with it so living twister might like if i'm playing an elemental deck i think living twister is going to be somewhere in there because Nis is being played in there and i think it's just a solid solid uh you know synergy and the sideboard could be a little more tuned to beat bigger creatures so maybe things like fight with fire things that deal with like five toughness um because fry does deal with it but only out of blue and white what about out of green and red and with how much growl and dinosaurs are running around i would expect to deal with some of that just as you witnessed in the last round where we got stomped out, sent back to the prehistoric age, uh, and by charging Monstrosaur, of course. So either way, I had a blast playing the deck. M20 just came out, so lots of new cards to see, lots of new cards to try. None of these builds are perfected, so we've still got weeks and weeks of testing to go. But hopefully you all join me, and thanks so much for coming back and watching my videos every week. It means the world to me. And other than that, if you like the content we make here at MTG Goldfish, Hit that bell icon to be notified when we get a new video. Leave a like and a sub. Other than that, it is I, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as, signing, also known as the Asian Avenger, signing out. I'll see you at the next one. Love ya. Peace. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.